Welcome back to Hollow Knight, everybody. My microphone is working now, and today we will be beating a bunch of bosses and probably getting the last two badges, as I had said before, <laughs> as I was saying, but nobody could hear. We have two badges left to get, and I'm pretty sure one of them we get from the badge dealer after we get this badge. Could be wrong about that, but that's... if Either that or that's how we get the final notch. That's how we get the final notch, maybe. Uh, so that, I guess that explains it. Yes, uh, as I answered, Sips is R Us, I read every YouTube comment that comes my way. Not If you left it in the last, like, few hours or so, I probably didn't read it, because I haven't had a chance to go for the comments and approve them yet. But I read every comment that comes my way. I don't always respond to them, but I read them all the time. Uh, and then I also said congrats to Proxima for completing 20% of his programming course. Very exciting. And yeah, I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, hey, and welcome Mobius, and welcome DX. It's nice to see you both as well. <laughs> yes, I read every single one. Despite what popular opinion may be saying. Seems a tad sketchy. How would... How is it sketchy to read every YouTube comment? So I remember one of the areas you suggested to going to was Fog Canyon. I'm assuming that's the teacher's archives where we can fight the jellyfish. And another area you mentioned was the Crystal Peak. So the mines. So I could go there. I can't remember where the third place you said, though, was. <gasps> <laughs> What's this? I'm heading towards Dream Jelly. Just taking a slightly alternate route. I'm going to Queen Station and traveling up. Because the teacher's archives is right up here. Ha bonk! And the resting grounds. Alright, that's right. I thought I already did everything in the resting grounds last time, but I guess not. Whoop. Ha ha. Uh, it depends on if Gardic Foden happens and when. Alright, I don't need the compass no mo. For just one, though. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like there should be more badges that just cost one. I must be frank. <laughs> well, saying fiends in silly voices is definitely fun. I thought I went back to the teacher's archives before, but I didn't see anything. Maybe I didn't go deep enough. Okay, well, if I do stream Hollow Knight on Friday, maybe I'll stream it a little on the early side. Like at 7 instead of 8. Guys, we might finish Hollow Knight tonight. <laughs> you never know. Maybe I decide to pull an all-nighter. Oh, that's right. <laughs> there is no map in the teacher's archives. Also, I haven't met the teacher yet. They're late. I forget where the battle even took place. Around here, right? Yeah, this is where the battle took place, but I'm not seeing damn ghosts. Oh, that's right, I did meet the teacher, and the teacher died. It wasn't my fault. Oh ha ha! All night -er. Ah, 
I promise you it won't take till 2050. I told you, I'm finishing it this month. Where's the dream, Jelly? I was promised there was a dream jelly, and he ain't here. <laughs> Am I in the right place? This kind of sound like, uh, maybe not a badge, but an item in Paper Mario. Oh, okay, that was fair and balanced. Oh, there's not? You lied to me. How could you? Oh, that's, that's fine. This just means I'm going to have to re-equip the compass. Okay, well that means there's something else in the Fog Canyon to find. Alright, alright, alright. Maybe it's something we can do with our uh, Shadow Dash. Just have to wait and see. Do 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 do. Hey, hey. Interesting. Wonder if there's like a fake wall somewhere. Ow. Well, there's no need to be rude. There's a hidden room up here that's empty. Supposedly. That seems suspicious. Yeah, this room. Oh, dog on you. Oh, fun. Fair and balanced. Apparently, the Shadow Dash will not save you from explosives. Sure. Okay. The length of my nail does not extend past the uh, explosion's radius. We know that now. We're going to change our badges up a bit. Auto healing could be nice, but I think that was a weird voice crack right there. I think sprint faster because we just got to go a tiny bit faster. <laughs> Sorry, I do still have a bit of a congestion in my throat, so I will probably sound a little weird. Alright, well that's... I thought I, maybe I've already been through that bomb area, but maybe I just gave up. I'm like, I'm not going through here. 
I didn't give up a whole lot, but I did give up at least at some points. Oh, sh oh no! I hate the exploding eggs. They suck. Um, why are you all the way down there? That's not where I died. <coughs> oh, do I have to go even deeper in here? just to get my shadow back. That's not cool. Yes, I am feel Oh, great. I love being on Death's Door. Wow, I hate that area. That's... I don't really... I don't really have any need for Geo at this point, though, so... Honestly, it's not a huge deal. No, I'm feeling fine. It's just I have a lot of congestion from my sore throat last week. The only thing left to get in the game to buy is the permanent version of the charm that gives me more Geo. So it's like, yeah, I don't really need that. And now my shadow's up there for some reason. Oh, I never did get this. Wait, that's a charm notch? Oh, that's freaking... What? That would have been nice to have earlier. That's way better than a badge. I thought the only way to get charm notches was from... Fatso McDadso. I always forget that, the weird badge shop guy's name. Yep, two badges, and wow, if there are other charm notches out there that I missed. Oof. Salubra, that's, that's the thing, yeah. Wait, did I miss... oh. Okay. Shwink! So I'm assuming that's the Fane and Fog Canyon that I missed. <laughs> you know, it cost me 2,000 Geo for that, but I will happily take that. 2,000 Geo for a Charm Notch is a steal! And I now know why that area was so dangerous. It's because it was guarding something really good. Alright, then we got Resting Grounds, and we've got the Crystal Peak. So let's go to Resting Grounds first. I thought I... Thought I saw everything there, but guess not. <gasps> yeah. Music channels oftentimes do get taken down. It's a shame. Alright. Maybe it helped. I opened the big boy map. Let's see. Hmm. 
so there's a lot of areas that we could check. We haven't been to the Spirits Glade in a very long time. Also, now that this is done, wow, we can equip just so much now. This is great. This may just be the area with all of the, like, Kickstarter ghosts, but... Ouch. Wow, you deal a lot of damage. Okay, that was a bad idea. Treat them with... Okay, okay. That's why. I'm sorry. I forgot. I'm just like, ooh, it's a spirit. <laughs> ooh, it's a spirit. How grand. So basically, I gotta mind my manners while I'm in here. No, that makes sense. It is cool how they made a separate spirit for each, like, big Kickstarter backer. That's really cool. I'm wondering if there's, like, a place I can destroy. such a weird noise to make. Oh, that's just because I'm hitting the water. Huh. This is so weird. There's, there's an inlet up here. Surely it's not for no reason. Maybe it is for no reason. Is there something in this room that I'm missing? It doesn't look like there is. Am I even close to being in the right place for, uh... The secret thing that I've missed. What might I be able to do from there that I can't do from anywhere else? <laughs> hey, Nintendo Addict, welcome. I don't want to use up all my soul on an attack unless I'm sure it'll do something. Does it involve one of these soul attacks? No. 
No, it does not. Huh. I'm stumped. I thought for sure it would have something to do with the crystal dash, but that's not, that doesn't seem to be the case. It's probably something obvious that I'm missing. The big moth is wondering why does he only want to interact with the wall? Oh, what the- what? I just did that randomly. I didn't think there was any indication that I could do that. Alright, well that was a wild ride. You who pry even to the, into the most hidden of dreams, take heed. Recorded within this shrine are utterings from another world. Though the words may seem strange, remember they come from minds different from ours, the minds of a group united in mysterious cause. To believe or disbelieve, the choice is yours. Is this just going to be like, here are all the Kickstarters that helped make this game. The Shrine of Believers. <laughs> I think that's exactly what it is. <laughs> That's kind of cool. The loved ones of Atra. <laughs> Void the dark. <laughs> Alright, well. It would behoove me to not let people see all of the people that helped fund the game. Wow, that one was kind of depressing. Oh, this is not what you wanted me to find? Oh. <laughs> How many of these are there? Because if there's like eight, if there's like 500, I'm not reading them all. Again, it's cool, but again, I, I think there were better things for me to do than just read every Kickstarter person. Yeah, that, oh my gosh, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, there's no indication that you can dream nail that. That's kind of crazy. That is a good Gardic phone prompt. Also, you can let me deal with stuff like that. That's not the... Oh, look! OBS disconnected! Because of course it did. Great. Well, while it's reconnecting, I'll think of where to go next. So it's not in the Spirit's Glade, presumably. I don't think it would be in that passageway down to the right over towards the flower person's house. 
So where else could we go? Probably somewhere in the blue lake. I don't remember doing anything in the blue lake. We're back. Also, don't blame OBS for it constantly cutting out. It's not OBS that's doing it. It is my computer's built-in stupid failsafe for... Oh no, I'm too hot. I have to cut all internet. Ugh. OBS is very good. It's free and it's high quality. To protect the vessel, the dreamers lay sleeping. That's right, those are the free sealers. So I'm guessing the Fane is somewhere in the Blue Lake, because I haven't really explored that area a whole lot. Why would there be something on the map that's literally labeled if there wasn't something secret or special hidden there? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's right, we did meet Snape here. I forgot about that, Mr. Potter. Well, maybe there's something else hidden here. Who knows? Well, there was a rancid egg. Hoopie doopie doo. Surely there's something else, right? Do 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 do. All right, maybe it's not here. All right, all right. <laughs> There's something that here, hidden here that you haven't gotten yet. A single rancid egg. I'd be a little annoyed about that. I'm expecting it to be something actually good that might help me in my fight against evil. Twitch chat's not showing up on screen for some reason. You're right. Well. Now that, now that is strange. That's weird, because I definitely have Twitch chat set to, uh, show up. <coughs> yeah, my, my settings are still configured properly. Do, do, do. Maybe I'll try restarting OBS again and see if that helps. What could go wrong? Alright, I rebooted OBS. Yay! There we go. Now it's working. How are we going to finish it? Uh, it won't be too bad. So this way leads to the City of Tears. I don't want to take the elevator, though. This is still part of... yeah, it is. Oh, I am so powerful! <laughs> 
I don't think the hidden fin would be this way, would it? Because this just leads to the flower hut. But at the same time, the resting grounds are not that big. Yeah, I restarted OBS. Is my... Is my audio okay? Or does it sound weird? Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Because if I look at this in editing and it and it turns out that I was recording from my laptop's headphone and or my laptop's microphone instead of my headset microphone, I'm gonna be ticked, so that's why I need Twitch chat to be honest with me. I, it looks like it's 3D, but you can't actually go back there. What's the point of that house? Oh, that's right, that's where the flower girl lived. That's the point of that house. Well, Flower Girl is dead. Long live Flower Girl. It's okay, guys. She just went back to France, where she lives. Would we lie to you? Yes. Or maybe that's not maybe that's not the right word. May, there have been times in the past where I have recorded with the wrong mic settings and nobody has said anything to me all stream. Like, I was reacting to stuff before it actually happened, and no nobody brought it to my attention. Mobius, we've played Among Us together, so clearly the answer is yes. <laughs> You're doing it right now! Wherever that spot is in the resting grounds that has the hidden fane, it is difficult for me to find. I'm starting to wonder if you're being entirely honest with me. Because at this point I've checked, I think, everywhere. Wait, what? You can walk through the wall here. Well, here it is. Dream Shield? Why do I get the feeling that this is going to be a really good badge that I should have gotten ages ago? Dream Shield sounds good. No, I always I always show up before the stream starting music unless it's a very very special occasion. <laughs> Maybe it's not even real. How meta. All right, let's see what Dream Shield does. Defensive charm once wielded by a tribe that can shape dreams conjures a shield that follows the bearer and attempts to protect them. Well, we got to see what that's about. Uh... Well, this seems pretty good. A little temperamental, maybe, but it still seems pretty good. <laughs> That's what Mark... Yeah, I, I remember there was a spirit who used this. Let's try it out. Alright, take me to Dirtmouth so we can take the elevator up to... <coughs> the mines. Yeah. 
Man, and you could, we literally could have gotten this ages ago. How long does it take for Discord to be like, already streaming after I start streaming? Is it like five minutes or is it like a half hour? Okay, looking at the map. So we have been down here. We'll just double check since we're over here. Well, I've also reset OBS multiple times, so you're going to get in a notification every single time I reset. Okay, yeah, I thought that I already got this, but I, I had to check. jump up there for some reason. Yeehaw! Alright, looking at the map, I'm trying to figure out where here to go. The Crystal Peak is kind of huge. Maybe I could get, like, an overall direction to head in. Wow, that shield just wrecked her. Because I get the feeling the badge or whatever. From here, downward. Oh, so the shield will kind of break. Gradually. But it's... Wow, the shield is able to kill enemies that I normally can't. That's insanely good. That's insanely good. <laughs> I don't know if that would be the worst feeling, but... <laughs> yeah, you, it, it, you can't just walk on someone's property to pet their cat. That don't fly. It's very true. Don't you have your own cats, though? Do, 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 do. We already got the thing up there. <laughs> well, we can't pet all the cats, but we can pet some cats. I think we've already got what's over here. Yeah, definitely seems like it. If you take the cat onto your property, you're not trespassing, but, uh... Dig, dig, crush, dig, lift, dig, lift, dig, crush, obey, dig, lift, crush, drop, drop, dig, lift, dig, crush, obey, dig, 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 lift, blah, 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 blah. That's where we got the crystal badge, actually, isn't it? I don't think it's in here. That last bit was lore. Oh, I thought it was just more dig, dig, obey, dig, crush, dig. I don't think it's in that area. I 
I love cats, but I probably would never want to have two at once. If you have too many cats, people look at you differently. Crystallized mound. <laughs> I mean that one well, here's a question. Have we really actually domesticated cats, or have cats just been like, you know, I'll tolerate you because you feed me and care for me? That's what I'd like to know. Because like dogs we definitely have, because we've like trained dogs to be able to do jobs. Like you you see dogs at the airport that are like can sniff out drugs and bombs and who do that for free. Cats don't do that. Cats are like, you amuse me, my bipedal food slave, so I shall allow you to live. <laughs> I don't want to worship cats. I can appreciate them for sure, and I love them. But I'm not worshipping them. Oh, it's the crystallized mound. I'm pretty sure I've already been through here. But I guess we'll go through again. Ow, my butt! Yeah, I'm very sure we've already been through here. Yeah, because we grabbed the fane. Ow! Ow! The combo. Maybe there's something else down here, though. Ha ya! Ha ha! Uh oh. Oh, I was supposed to fall down here from above and then escape. Whoops. Ha ha ha. Tuba. Ouch. Ow, my face! Ow, my bottom! Ouch! <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a YouTube video out there for almost everything. Okay, yeah, there's nothing for us in here. Oh yeah, gorillas are amazing. By the time I finish this game, you might start playing it. I mean, you should! It's a very fun game. Okay, I don't want to go to the resting grounds. Not really, no. Well, that's why you have me playing it for you, right? I still don't know exactly where I'm supposed to be going. Okay, there's not a secret thing down there. I know that now. Oh, if you do the Shadow Slam, then actually you can destroy that crystal. I'll figure out my stream music in the future, don't worry. Don't worry. Hmm. 
Feels like I'm going very low down, but... The deepest part of the mine has the best, most valuable stuff in it, right? I definitely added Nightmare Grimm's uh, Psalm to my stream music playlist, for sure. I'll probably add the Soul Sanctum music as well. <coughs> I will not be adding Broken Vessel. Already got the rancid egg. Ow! You can request it. But I'm not adding it to the permanent playlist. <laughs> Alright. Cat videos in the meme section. I love it. Maybe we go lower down. Maybe there's a hidden wall somewhere. A lot of Hollow Knight's music is what I would call atmospheric rather than bombastic. And I generally prefer bombastic music. It's still good, don't get me wrong, but... Alright. Uh, I think I'm lost. I would say least favorite. Like, it's a good psalm, but it just now forever reminds me of that two hour alone struggle against the lost kin. From here, you can. Gee, thanks, Proxima. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I kind of was able to figure that out myself, seeing as there was, as the saying goes, nowhere to go but up. Sorry, I, I shouldn't be snarky. I appreciate you helping me out. Maybe it's up here. So that's where we got a rancid egg that we never used. because I was too proud. I guess the thing is, when you put, like, really atmospheric and kind of quiet psalms in a game filled with action, I don't get to hear the psalm that much, because it's like... Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Clang, 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 from, like, using the nail. So. Alright. Out of the way, Hollow Knight coming through. Usually I choose the final boss music, because I like having really epic music for that. Hey, fair, fair enough. I'm the guy where it's like, oh, I'm driving to church. <laughs> Plain epic music.
still hard for me to tell where this hidden vein is. Man, this is hidden very well. Heck is it? Oh wow, the shield moves around more quickly if you're focusing. That's kind of cool. Mm. No. Back to where I started. Depends on what game I'm playing. I've noticed it doesn't happen nearly as frequently when I'm streaming a game via a capture card. That's weird. I can like kind of clip into the wall there. Nothing. And now I'm too high up. I think I've already gone up to this dead end area, but I guess there's no Hardman Shrine again. Cause this, yeah, this is where I fought the boss that I hadn't fought in a long while. Yeah, and I already got the fame for it. So, well, um, <laughs> I hope you're not just having a laugh at my expense. Dang, and the shield just like, mmm, so good. Okay, so it is farther down from here. So we're gonna go down, but instead of going over to the right, Aha! 
Hidden wall, there we go. That's a false wall up there as well. Wait, what? <laughs> Ouch. <sighs> this is tough. Mobius, I wonder who that guy is. Oh, and then this lets me open up the shortcut up at the top, I'm guessing. Yeah, there we go. Oh, shoot. Someone started playing Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Okay. Deep focus. I bet that lets me uh, charge up even faster. Barrel will focus soul at a slower rate, but the healing effect will double. Oh. Well, that's all for the badges. It's so pink. It is. Well, now we must go back to a bench. Preferably near a subway station. Because now we can go back to the boss area and refight all the bosses again. The God Home, I believe it was called. Which is in the sewers. Because of course it is. Whee! Flow back home with the help of Super Grover. Alright, hey bro, hey bro. Alright. Before we go anywhere else, we need to go back to Salubra, or whatever its name is. Get the final notch. <laughs> Hollow Grover. Out of my way. I am too powerful. Wait, I need to pay Geo for that. <laughs> Never mind, we actually do need to collect some Geo. That's fine. Sorry, old friend. Well, we can always go around the forbidden crossroads. We only need 800 Geo, so we should be able to get that relatively quickly. Look at that, we're already almost at 700. Oh, 
I love how Salubra was like, you can have this blessing if you pay me money. It's like, I thought the blessing was like a congratulations because I did well. Yeah, but you, you still have to pay me money. Yeah, look at that. We already have like 700. Glorious. Oh, that's exactly enough! No, it's not. I can do math. There we go. That's enough. Well, make sure you'll remember it, then, if it's good for next time we play Gardic Phone. Just make sure your ideas are stuff that pretty much everyone will actually get. Like, if you do inside jokes for my stream, nobody will get that, and it won't be as fun. Just something to think about. Alright, give me your gift, please. Special blessing. What will this actually do, though? My dear, blessed for you, with your excessive patronage and those startling good looks, you've more than earned it. I did not want that. Salubra's blessing. A boon bestowed by charm lover Salubra. Those blessed are followed by beauty and love. I hope my blessing brings you everything you desire. Don't be a stranger. Did I get anything other than the achievement? I thought it was going to be a special badge. I will probably not be making that the thumbnail. Try sitting down on the bench and waiting a while. Oh! It restores your soul as well. Okay, that's nice. I like the functionality. I wish it was given to me in a different way. Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't go running in a cold place unless you've got the... <laughs> the warm tunic. Or if you eat a bunch of hot peppers. Hey, hey, hey. One at a time. One at a time. Alright, thanks, bro. Alright, uh, take me to the waterways. And by that I mean the uh, Keen Station. Well, nobody knows anything what Mobius looks like, and he keeps changing his profile picture, so it's, there's not really a consistent way to draw Mobius. The one time I had to draw him, I drew Morbius instead. Which one? There were kind of a lot. With very large muscles. <laughs> I would probably just draw a stick figure and have, like, Mobius next to it. Or try to draw his uh, YouTube avatar of, like, the bearded guy in black and white. Oh yeah, Mobius strip. That's another good way of doing it.
That's because most people in Shaggy's chat don't know who Proxima is. That's why I said don't do, like, inside jokes or things that people wouldn't know. Alright, down to the junk pit. Oh, your, your YouTube avatar is an existing person. Interesting. Uh, wait, no. I want to go back up. Okay, I hate those bats. I also hate these things. How are the maggots continually spawning in if I killed the person that keeps creating them? Ugh. This is disgusting. Oh no. Is nowhere safe and sacred? He sounds like a character. Whee! Hey, dude. Ooh. Creeper, did thee wake us? Revived this kingdom, these gods, tuned and bested, gleaming in mind, sharp, bright, sharp. And this... Our form swells, large, nay, immense, majestic, hibernation so forced upon us, yet the shell that ye results is strong, so strong. Thine gaze is adoring, you must think us godly, amusing, foolish, but thou art faced with enormity and beauty true. You seem a little full of yourself. And by that I mean a lot full of yourself. Sorry, had to take a very, very large swig of water. So I could challenge the third area, but I think I'll just keep fighting these other bosses again. Okay, no compass, none of that, none of that, none of that. Ooh, we got all this extra charm stuff we can uh, put on. I definitely like that. Dream Shield costs free. Let's see. I like Soul Catcher. So let's try the Radiant Gruz Mother. Inspect the tablet. Ah, uh, never mind. No, we're not doing that. No, we're not doing the radiant fights. That doesn't seem fun at all. Why are there still some that are empty? We can at least get the Ascended ones, not the Radiant ones. This guy's tough.
There we go. Beautiful. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I'll be happy with a silver medal next to them. Oh, hey! It's False Knight! I can at least beat regular False Knight, for sure. Is this guy any harder on the Ascended? Kinda seems to be the same. Blah. This is one fight I could probably beat the Radiant version of. Not sure if I'd want to, though. Hang on, I like Broken Vessel, I just don't like Lost Kin. The failed champion. Oh yeah, this guy attacks way- that guy attacks way too fast. That guy attacks way too fast. How ha how have I not found all the bosses in the game yet? How? Or are there special bosses in here that you only fight in here? Okay, yuck. I hate this guy. <laughs> I wish there was an easier way to navigate the badges menu. We're equipping the low health one. I think that'll be quite helpful. There are some God Home exclusive bosses. Okay, fair enough. Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> okay, maybe I won't fight that guy just yet. Oh, it's Hornet! That's right, Hornet has two different versions as well. I think Hornet's still my favorite boss. Your knitting needle is very impressive. Take that. 
<laughs> Shut There we go. And here's the second Hornet battle. <coughs> Love Hornet's theme. Love that Celtic flute. found the Hornet battles tough. Challenge the massive Moss Charger. <laughs> sure, why not? The massive Moss Charger. Durr. I hate it when it leaps into the air like that. It's really hard to hit it and still avoid damage at the same time. I have an idea, actually. Okay, idea just needs a little bit of work. That was easy. I really like the the Mega Rush badge. Or the Fury of the Fallen badge or whatever it is. It's really fun. Oh, Hornet's getting her own game? I always felt like Hornet was going to play a much bigger role in the story than she did. She just kind of shows up, fights you, and then kind of leaves. Yeah. Flukeworm. Lovely. Easy. We'll see. You've seen how long that list of games I want to stream is. And you see it keeps growing. <laughs> so. Hello. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> Ouch. Ow. Well, that didn't last long, now did it? Ouch. This is the easy version of the Mantis Lords? Huh. 
Man, when they say ascended, they really mean it. they do that. <laughs> when they hang out on the walls like that, that's a little harder to deal with. Ouch. Well, that was not very nice. Come now. I probably should do the other, just... How long is the no spoiler tag? I don't intend on turning it back on, because I'm at the end of the game. Why would I need the no spoilers tag back on if I'm at the end of the game? If I've already beaten it. And if I'm like asking for help on the bonus content. And wow, I'm stinking at this part of the battle. Fast. There we go. Oh, people could spoil that. Ah. Fair enough. So why are... Wait, no, I did not want to challenge... No, uh, no, I really didn't, actually. I thought this was a different fight. It's not letting me... There are two notches next to it. Pfft, wow. <laughs> there are two notches next to them, but it's not letting me fight two of them. Maybe we fight them in the other... Ah, uh, there should be a lever there. Yes, I see. Oh, Obwobble. Who is this? Oh, that's right. It's these guys. Let's see if I can kill these guys one right after the other. Because they start going crazy if there's only one of them left.
There we go. They were the final boss of... Co That's right, they were. <coughs> well, how grand. Hive Knight. Oh, it's, it's the bee bro. I love bosses I can just wail away on with Quick Slash. Wow, that was a cool Shadow Dash. <laughs> no, not the Hive Knight. <laughs> oh, hey. Yes, I will challenge the Broken Vessel. Yes, I will. He should be easier than the Lost Kid. So the Lost Kid, I guess, lore-wise, was like supposed to be the Hollow Knight, but something went wrong. Hence the name Broken Vessel. Wow! That was easy. Oh yeah, and there's still Poop Bros multiple forms. Nosk. Yeah, Broken Vessel is fun. The Lost Kid, not so much. Oh, yeah, it's this bro. I don't remember this guy having two forms, though. I'll be real. Okay. This guy's annoyingly fast. He's like the player character, except it's believed that Hornet killed him. He couldn't beat Hornet? Wow. What a loser. Nothing against Hornet. She's cool, but um, she is one of the easier bosses in the game. Stop stopping right as I'm trying to jump over you. I don't like how he has two notches next to his name, either. I hate how he keeps stopping unexpectedly. That's very irritating. Um, what? First off, I never said I was definitely going to stream Friday. I said I might. The only thing... That's not what I said. I said the Ascended, not the Attuned. And the only thing I've said about the finale is that I'm going to finish Hollow Knight in August. I never said anything else.
Okay, let's try that again, but this time we actually fight the Ascended version like I said to. Please and thank you. Yikes. We aren't going... Hollow Knight's not going to still be going on in September. Even if we don't do everything in the game, I'm ending it in August. Why is this guy so difficult? He's literally just dashing back and forth. But he keeps stopping every time I try to jump over him. That's the issue. And him jumping in inconsistent places like that. I think this is the problem. He's inconsistent. No matter where you are, he's going to hit you. When he, like, shoot, froze out that stuff. <laughs> like, right there, there's no rhyme or reason to his jumping patterns and where he lands. That is annoying. There's, like, no safe place for that. Was he the difficult the first time? I mean, he was not too bad. This has got to be, like, the only boss where fighting him on flat terrain makes him harder, as opposed to rugged terrain. Of course you do that. You butt. And I keep dashing into him. that. When he does that, you just... There's nowhere safe, really. There we go. Looks like patience paid off. Oh, it's the collector. Let's see how bad the ascended version of this is. Easy for you to say that was easy.
That was easy. <laughs> yeah, my ante was really tough the first time. Or it was really tough the first time, but then... He oh, it's the God Tamer. I need practice on this one. Yikes. All right, good night, DX. Thanks for joining in. I will be ending the stream relatively soon as well. I just want to make a dent in these. Maybe I'll play for 15 more minutes. If I could figure out a way to dodge this stupid acid attack while also attacking him, that would be great. They also share a health bar, so I gotta remember that as well. <laughs> 120k arty bucks. Wow. You're more than a tenth of the way to a million. That's crazy. Crystal Guardian! Oh, hey! The laser boy who I didn't fight for the longest time. Was actually very easy. Do you get anything other than satisfaction for clearing the ascended versions? Or the radiant versions, sorry. The enraged guardian. Ouch! Okay! You mean business! I shudder to think what Ascended or Radiant Nightmare Grim will be like. There is an in-game reward for clearing all boss statues. You get a higher tier if it's Ascended and a third for all Radiant. Interesting. Uh, there's no way I'm doing all Radiant bosses. No freaking way. I may not even do all Ascended, but I'll try. Actually, that wasn't too hard. You've never bothered with all the Radiant Cyber? <laughs> okay, if you haven't done it, then yeah, I'm not doing it. You're way better at this game than I am. It's Uwu, the god of knowledge.
Oh, this is the boss that we need to use, uh, have our friend help us with. It's Big Jellyfish. Ouch. Okay. I remember I have it I had a friend there to help me last time. The traitor lord. I don't remember this guy. Oh yes, never mind, yes I do. This guy was tough. Never mind, I remember this guy. <laughs> it's all, much like Boomerang, it's all coming back to me. I'm sure there's uh, speed speedrunners who regularly go for all Radiant trophies. Ouch! The traitor lord. Yeah, the, the mantis who killed the ever mantises. Much like how mantises do in real life. I forgot about those. Oof. Radiant Zote battle would be he kills you in one hit. I think the Radiant battle, or... The Radiant battles, I think, are just, yeah, you die in one hit. Alright, sure, let's just go off to 1 HP right away. I mean, with the low health, that may not actually be a bad idea, but... <laughs> Some of these battles are going to be fun. Good night, Mobius. Thanks for joining in. When do I get to fight Melon Lord? I can't believe I avoided taking damage there. Ouch. It's a reference. I really need to stop doing that. the Shadow Dash. Oh yeah. That was good.
Buahaha. Oh, hey! Look who it is! Uh, is this just gonna be one hit kill, though? I hope not. Oh no. Wait, this will be a lot easier than the previous zones that I fought. Well, he still killed me. Because I wasn't expecting him to do that slimy combination of moves one after another. Oh, but this is reg This is the first Dream Zone battle. Why does he still have all those adjectives, though? Just can't stay away from Zone. Okay, that stupid hopping Zone should absolutely be dead by this point. Radiant Zote was way easier than non-Radiant Zote. Wow, who would have... Or not Radiant. Ascended. Sorry. Oh, that's it for the bottom floor. Except for Jellyfish Bro. Moo. My friend ain't helping me on a moo this time, so I don't know what to do. Maybe get the other Jellyfish to blow him up? Whoa, oh, ho, ho. How come they didn't blow him up? Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Fuck, got it. I hate how he spawns electricity on you. And you can't really see it when it's spawning because it blends in with the background. Yeah, Ascended Nightmare King Grim is going to be a toughie. Yep, I hate the wonkiness of the jellyfish. And I hate how short he's stunned for as well. Ouch. Yeah, this this fight sucks. 
This is not what I did on the regular version of this fight. <coughs> Should I'd, I'd love to finish off the bottom row. Oh, that's really nasty. It spawns the electricity on you too fast for you to dodge it. Come on! Why did it blow up? Sometimes I hit the jellyfish and it just instantly blows up in my face, and sometimes it knocks it backwards. I don't know why it's inconsistent. <laughs> By the time you can see the electricity is spawning, it's too late to actually dodge it. I feel like you literally have to hope that the jellyfish spawns on top of the big guy. Because otherwise it's not hitting. It's either going to hit a platform on the way, or it's just going to blatantly ignore the boss to hit you instead. Objection, Your Honor. <sighs> yeah, I hate this fight. finish the bottom row, though. Could they have picked a worse background color to make the electricity not stand out? Wait, why did he not blow up? What background? I would want a background color that doesn't blend in with the electricity. So, like, not blue and not bluish green. Maybe a darker color. You just really have to hope that the je explosive jellyfish cooperate. just too much stuff in this fight. Oh look, he didn't hit the boss, because of course he didn't. He has no problem hitting me, but if I... He, no, he won't hit the boss. It doesn't help that you get no soul from this fight either, so you can't heal yourself.
yet it still finds a way to hit me. And even if you hit him with an explosive, you only get to hit him a very small handful of times. Oh hey, he's dead. Thankfully, he didn't have a large amount of HP. And thankfully, I am at max attack power. Oh, well, I guess we haven't completely finished the bottom row because we haven't unlocked all of the different fights from the bottom row. Oh, and we also haven't done that guy yet. Okay. Well, I, we are still very much out of time for this stream, so we are ending things here. Made some good progress. We got all the badges. We got Weird Ghosty Boy to help us out as well. And we've got, I think, all the upgrades at this point, so it's really just a matter of beating the bosses and then going back beating the final boss again to get the different endings. So, tune in for that next time. I do not think we will be streaming on Friday. We can just continue this next Monday, but Mario Sunshine will be returning on Saturday. So, keep your eyes peeled for that. Thank you all for watching. It was great talking with you both. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your night. God bless everybody.